Hi, I'm Matt from The Last Drop of Ink and in this video I'll be showing you how you can customise your eBay search results. There are three reasons why you would want to customise your eBay search results. The first is to help you save time as a, as a buyer so you can find out the information which you need to know about the actual seller and the listing itself so you can save yourself time from going into each uh, individual listing themselves. The second is to speed up the page load times, which is especially handy if you're perhaps on a mobile device um, or your internet connection speed isn't particularly fast. And the final reason is to look deeper into the research results, uh, search results so that if you're a power user, somebody who is perhaps using the eBay search and browse results for market research, that you can find the extra information which you need to help with your activities. Now what I'll do, do is go to eBay and I'll take you through how you can customise your search results actually on eBay uh, and include as many examples as I can for you. I've come to the ebay.co.uk homepage but this, the, the, what I'll take you through in this video will also work on the international sites too such as ebay.com and ebay.de. Now I'm going to quickly make uh, just a general search for a tent. Okay, and what we'll see now here is that the, the listings, the, the results which you're used to being returned to you are on your screen and the attributes of these uh, results are is that you have a main image, you have a title, uh, a, a subtitle if it's been entered by the seller, the seller status, the listing type, the price and the shipping being shown to you. Okay, and in this video I'll be talking and referencing to the customized view option on the right hand side. But before I go there, I just want to cover a few basics with you um, as far as the listing display. Now we do have three options um, and we can change the way which the listings are shown to us in a very basic manner. So if I click on the gallery button just here, then you'll see that the listing format changes to a gallery format, which is really, really handy if you're buying and you're looking for fashion items you can find. Uh, you can browse a much larger number of listings very, very quickly. And the other option is that you can view listings side by side. Okay. Now to go back to those, we can go back and we can click on the list option. Okay. If we're only lo looking for auctions, then we can use the top, top tab called auctions only, or we can use the other tab called buy it now. And again, if you're a power user and you're only interested in, these, uh, in either of those specific listing formats, you can use these um, two options very, very, um, uh, uh, I can spit my words out, uh, to, to your benefit. So I'm coming back to the all items tab here, and I'm now going to click on the customize view. What we'll now have is a uh, customized search uh, panel appear in front of us and we can configure different attributes about the, the and control the way that the actual listings are shown back to us. Now for the purpose of this video I'm going to focus upon power users who need to know everything which they can about the listings because they're performing market research on eBay. Now we can actually control the different um, um, elements of the, the listings um, and the, what contents actually showed here um, and we could remove picture if we wanted to and that may be a handy thing if you're on a low bandwidth connection but uh, again I'm focusing upon uh, power users and um, I'm going to yeah, just focus towards you guys. So and you, you'll notice that I can add and remove those and change the orders. So you can change them to a way which suits you best. Okay. Now what I would strongly suggest as a power user that you keep the list format and you also add PayPal to it and you also include your postage cost. Also, because we're interested in a large number of items if we're performing market research on eBay, that we would want to set our default to 200. Okay, I would also suggest that you keep your picture size to large too. Again, it, we need to know as much about the item as possible um, and the picture can be very pictorial for us uh, as users. Now one very important option that I strongly suggest you tick is this option here which is use the title on its own. In the background the titles, are, uh, you can see that just down at the bottom, the titles are quite shortened and um, the, the space of them is not a, a large amount. And if I now click apply, apply changes with this option set, what we'll see is the title itself gets its own room. Okay, and this is moving forward to gaining a lot more information about the actual listing itself. So I'm now going to go back to customize view. 
okay and a, a quick note here is that if you do add something or you can't remember something you set and you'd like to go back to the beginning there is a restore defaults option at the bottom so I'm now going to go, uh, it's saved my options from before, and I'm now going to go into item uh, information. Now, if I am, uh, again, working on the premise of being a power user and I want to find out as much information as possible, then I'm actually going to suggest that you choose item number, watch this item link, and again, that would be really handy for you because if you find a collection of listings which you're quite interested in, you can quickly add them into your watch list within my eBay. I'd also strongly suggest you include the, lo um, the, lo the country and region. The, the location and distance really won't be a benefit for you. It's only really aimed towards buyers who uh, want to find items which are in their local area. And again, on the premise of being a power user and using this for market research, um, that information isn't a benefit for us. So I'm going to click Apply Changes there. Okay, and we'll now see that the item locations appeared, that the item number and watch this item has also been appeared too. So I'm going to carry on with this uh, customization. I'm going to go back to customize view and I'm now going to go to seller information. Now I'm actually going to suggest that you take all three of these options too. Um, a really good example here is that if we see the seller's feedback, that may influence which items you um, probe into deeper uh, to see if there is a marketplace for the products which you're interested in selling. Finally, there is an advanced options tab which can change the, the default sort order. Now, again, for market research, I would strongly suggest that you just keep to uh, best match, not only for the search results, but also the browsing results too. And I'd also include the currency conversion too. Now, don't panic on this one with the currency conversion. If one of the listings uh, has been converted to pounds, it will show the original price. So. For example, if one of the tents which were in this research results was actually being shown from, the, say, the eBay.com site, then it would actually show the the converted price to pound sterling, but it would also show the original price as well. Okay, again, it's about showing as much information as possible so you can leverage that for your own requirements. Now I'm going to go and click on Apply Changes, and what we'll now see is that we have got the, a big product image. We can see. The, the, the title of the product to, to its maximum potential. We can see the item location, we can see the item number, we can see the seller ID and we can go to that seller, uh, seller shop if we need to, to go investigate their items further. We can see their seller ID if we need to record that for our own information purpose uh, purposes. And we can also see the seller's feedback and the percentage score as well. Uh, and again, if you were a buyer, seeing the seller's feedback and percent, um, feedback percentage would also be a benefit for you but if you uh, if trust is an issue for you okay um, and just to make a point here I'm actually just going to come back to the customized view options I'm going to choose the restore, uh, restore defaults option hit apply and you'll see that we'll be now be missing all that extra quality information which we just enabled for ourselves You should now be able to customize your eBay search results and I'd like to thank you for watching this video. If you'd like more videos like this, then you can find them at lastdropofink.co.uk. Cheerio!